my lovelies, hello it's Emmy. welcome back. Today I'm going to be making a mustard cake. This recipe is in response to my ketchup cake. If you missed that video, I'll put the link there and down below. And that contained, you know, our other favorite condiment, ketchup. So along those lines, I wondered if there was a cake that contained mustard. And after a little bit of searching, I indeed found a recipe by the French company Maillé. Let me get my jar of mustard left in the fridge. Hang on. Ooh, mustard! Here you are! I'm back. So this is a Dijon style mustard and it is whole grain so you can see the mustard seeds there. They're not entirely pulverized. If you were to crush these and grind them they would turn that bright yellow mustard that we're all familiar with. Naturally whole grain mustard is going to have a little bit more bite to it because you are biting through the seed and it has a little spicier kick. So I found this recipe on my A's website. I'll put the link down below. I found the recipe a little bit deceptive. What they have pictured is a beautiful triple layered cake with thick white frosting but then when you read the directions it says to make this recipe in a muffin tin. So it actually makes muffins not a beautiful triple layered cake. So the cake recipe looked fine and then I looked a little bit further down into the frosting recipe and it's not a frosting at all. What they offer is essentially an icing glaze. It's powdered sugar with a little bit of orange zest and water. It's gonna make a very thin icing. It's not gonna make the luscious creamy frosting that they have pictured and that's what I want. So I axed that part of the recipe and I'm going to substitute a luscious cream cheese frosting that I used in my ketchup cake. That was perfect. All right, so I have my cakes here. Let me walk you through the steps of how I got to this stage. You can take your melted butter and add your walnuts to that and let them soak up all that buttery goodness. Then in a bowl, you're gonna combine your brown sugar and your eggs and beat that with an electric mixer until it's nice and foamy. In another bowl, you're gonna combine your flour, your almond meal, baking powder, and salt. Mix that well, then add your shredded carrots, and then your egg mixture. Next, we're gonna add our raisins and our freshly grated ginger, and then the zest from all of our citrus. Then we're going to add our cinnamon and our coriander, and finally, we're gonna add our two tablespoons of whole grain Dijon mustard. Mix until everything is combined. Then I divided this between two eight inch round baking pans because I wanted the cake. And I would suggest eight inch so you get a nice tall cake. You're gonna bake this in a preheated 365 degree oven for about 25 minutes or until a toothpick comes out clean. So let the cakes cool about 10 minutes in the pan before inverting them onto a rack and let them cool completely before you frost them. The frosting couldn't be easier. You're gonna combine your room temperature cream cheese and your butter, beat that with an electric mixer and then you're gonna gradually add your powdered sugar until you get this luscious, beautiful frosting. You can refrigerate this frosting if you're not gonna use it right away, just make sure you bring it back to room temperature before you frost your cakes. To keep things neat, I'm going to put a little bit of wax paper underneath my cake. And now we're going to take our beautiful cream cheese frosting and get a good dollop of that right in the middle. You know why frosting's good? You know why? Because it's like all butter in this case, cream cheese and sugar. I mean, God, do you love that sound? I love that sound. Okay, next we're gonna take our offset spatula and smear it around. All right, get it all the way to the periphery. Now we're gonna take the top layer of our cake. This cake baked up really well, nice and flat. I didn't have to do any trimming, which is nice. Now we're just gonna cream cheese this whole bad boy. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh, yep, that's nice. Scoonch it over the edge. Now we're gonna make it look kind of old fashioned by giving it a few flourishes. Now I'm gonna remove the wax paper to reveal a hopefully mostly clean cake stand. That is very satisfying. Very satisfying. <laughs> Knife, spatula, check. Ready? Ooh la la. Okay, so here is the beautiful cake. Yay, my first mustard cake. Now let's give this a taste. 
いただきますうんふんうん、That's a delicious spice cake. I'm gonna take another bite. <laughs>、mm. And that's a really flavorful spice cake. Tons and tons of flavors going on there. You taste the citrus, you taste the cinnamon, the little bit of ginger. You don't taste the mustard per se, but the spice is definitely incorporated in there. It's not spicy in terms of being hot, it's just spicy, meaning warm and autumnal and Perfect for this time of year, and as we go into winter, this is the perfect, perfect cake. You've got carrots on hand, you want something spicy and flavorful, it's right here. It's delicious. The citrus in here really makes this cake distinctive to me, surprisingly. Not the mustard, but the citrus. Mm hmm. And texturally, this cake is really different as well. Because of the amount of almond meal in here, the crumb is pretty crumbly, a little bit coarse. And it has a bite to it. It's a little bit toothy. You can feel the grains of almonds in there. Then you've got the plump raisins in there, the cooked carrots, and then the little bit of crunch of the walnuts. There's a lot going on in this cake. And I definitely recommend substituting the cream cheese frosting in this recipe in terms of its texture. I think it really holds up to the weight of this cake. And the creaminess and richness really go well with the spiciness of the cake. So, there you have it a rich and decadent mustard cake, perfect for any autumn table. Do let me know in the comments if there are any other recipes that you'd like me to test out. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. Share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media where you saw me do this recipe, right? And I shall see you in my next video. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. <laughs>